Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm currently on a process of re-education, spending a lot of time reading books, learning a lot of new things, and I made this channel to share what I'm learning with the world. If you're interested in following along with me on this journey, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about new releases that are coming out in 2024 that I'm really looking forward to. There are so many amazing books that are coming out this year, so this video is just going to deal with books coming out in January and February of 2024. The first book I want to talk about is called Good Eats. This book came out on January 9th, 2024. This book is a collection of essays written by 32 writers, and it's all about eating ethically. So what really grabbed my attention about this book is the following line. In an age of mass factory farming, processed and prepackaged meals, and unprecedented food waste, how does one eat ethically? The next book I want to talk about is Our Enemies Will Vanish, and that's written by Yaroslav Trofimov. Trofimov is the Ukrainian chief foreign affairs correspondent at the Wall Street Journal. The book is described as an eyewitness account of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the heroism of the Ukrainian people in their resistance. And Another book that came out on January 9th is American Patriots by Ralph Young. For this one, I'm going to just read the back of the book. At the Constitutional Convention, the founders put the right to protest in the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. In the 19th century, dissenters protested against the War of 1812 and the Mexican War. In the 20th century, millions of Americans participated in the Civil Rights Movement, the Anti-War Movement, and Second Wave Feminism. In the 21st century, hundreds of thousands protested the war in Iraq, joined the 2011 Occupy Movement, the 2017 Women's March, and the 2020 Black Lives Matter uprising. The crowds get larger than ever, but the sentiments expressed were familiar. There have been dissenting Americans for as long as there has been an America. Then there's The Rebels, which is written by Joshua Green. This book looks at the uprising within the Democratic Party by members such as Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and AOC. The next book comes out January 16th, 2024, and this is called Limitarianism, The Case Against Extreme Wealth. This is written by Ingrid Robbins. This book is described as the first authoritative trade book to unpack the concept of a cap on wealth, where to draw the line, how to collect the excess, and what to do with the money. The next book I want to talk about is called Blood, the Science, Medicine, and Mythology of Menstruation, and this is written by Dr. Jen Gunter, who is a gynecologist. This book comes out on January 23rd, 2024. Part of the description of the book is as follows. Not knowing how your body works makes it challenging to advocate for yourself. Consequently, many suffer in silence thinking their bodies are uniquely broken or they turn to disreputable sources. Blood is a practical, empowering guide to what's typical, what's concerning, and when to seek care. Recounted with expertise and frank, fearless wit that have made Dr. Jen today's most trusted voice in gynecology. Some of the topics that will be covered in this book include why do women menstruate, the endometrium's connection to the immune system, the impact of stress, vaccines, and health on the menstrual cycle, menstrual migraines, PMS, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, fibroids and other causes of heavy bleeding, endometriosis and the latest treatments, and legitimate menstrual products and the facts behind toxic shock syndrome. So now I have a novel and it's The House on Sun Street. And this is written by Morgan Gazirad, and that comes out on January 23rd, 2024. So the description of the book is, From Moji's house on Sun Street, readers experience the 1979 Iranian Revolution through the eyes of a young girl and her family members during a time of concussive political and social change. Moji must endure the harrowing first days of the violent revolution, a fraught passage to the U.S. where there is only hostility from her classmates during the Iranian hostage crisis, her father's detainment by the Islamic Revolutionary Army, and finally, the massive change in the status of women in post-revolution Iran. The next book I want to talk about is called Everyone Who Is Gone Is Here, written by Jonathan Blitzer, who is a staff writer at The New Yorker. This book comes out January 30th, 2024. This book looks at the issue of immigration, particularly focusing on the mass number of people coming from Central American countries to America. The book looks at some of the issues at the American border, looking at government officials, activists, and politicians who are responsible for immigration policy. The next book I want to talk about is What Iranians Want, and this is written by Arash Azizi. This book comes out on February 13th, 2024. Just to give you a little bit of background on this book, on Tuesday, September 13th, 2022, Masa Amini was arrested by the Guidance Patrol, who were the morality police in Iran, and they claimed 
that her hijab was inappropriate. Massa was held in police custody, and by that Friday, she was pronounced to be dead. After Massa's death, protests erupted all around Iran, with women setting their headscarves on fire and cursing the supreme leader. If you're interested in getting a bit of a base understanding of what's going on, I will include in the description box a documentary by PBS Frontline, which I thought covered the protests very, very well. The next book I want to talk about is Slow Noodles, and this is a memoir written by Chantha Noon. This book comes out on February 20th, 2024. Chantha is from Cambodia, and she talks about the impact that dictator Pol Pot had on her country. What's unique about this memoir is it includes over 20 home recipes that Chantha shares with us. They sound amazing. Sour chicken line soup, green papaya pickles, Khmer curries, stir fries, and handmade ban can noodles. The next book is Being Black in the Ivory, and this is an essay collection that is coming out on February 20th, 2024. So during the time of the protest in America after George Floyd was murdered, Charday M. Davis started a hashtag on Twitter, and the hashtag was Black in the Ivory. The hashtag went viral with lots of black scholars talking about the racism that they've experienced in academia. Personally, I'm interested in becoming a professor, partly because going through law school, I did not have any professors except for one visiting professor who were people of color. And I think it's really important for our institutions to reflect what society looks like. But my one concern had been racism within academic institutions. And so I'm really interested to read this book to learn a lot more about what it is to be a black scholar in Western institutions. The next book I want to talk about is The Life of the Quran, and this is written by Muhammad Jabara. This book comes out on February 27th, 2024. I think the title of this book is fairly explanatory. It looks at the creation of the Quran. The next book I want to talk about is Achilles Trap, and this is written by Steve Call. This book comes out on February 27th, 2024. This book is the story of the decades-long relationship between Saddam Hussein and the United States of America. The book is described as masterfully untangling the people, ploys of power, and geopolitics that led to America's disastrous war with Iraq, and for the first time, details America's fundamental miscalculations during its decades-long relationship with Saddam Hussein. I recently watched the HBO miniseries House of Saddam and found it really fascinating. I don't think it was completely accurate, but it was a very good prior so I'm excited to give this book a read. So the final book is Investing in U.S. Financial History, and this book is written by Mark J. Higgins. This book comes out on February 27th, 2024. This book is a financial history of America, beginning with Alexander Hamilton's financial programs in 1790 and ending with the financial reserves battle with inflation in 2023. So those are the books that I am really looking forward to that are coming out in January and February of this year. Let me know in the comments if there are any books that you are excited for or if after this video any of these books are now on your TBR. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.